Hello YouTube, this is Rajai Mile, uh, otherwise known as 24 Fresh, and today I'm going to be revisiting Flare, although this time, um, since in part 3, or after part 3, uh, my character died and I faced permadeath, I'm going to be uh, showcasing my newer save, uh, which is actually already further along, um, and I can show us, like, kind of show some of the areas really quick as well. Uh, so without further ado, I'll go ahead and get this started. Here's some music. The music of Flare is actually probably one of the reasons why it draws me in so much as well. And this is uh, version 0 0.19. Uh, I was actually looking on GitHub at the the source of the engine. Or, not the engine, the... Because um, I shouldn't have to modify the engine that much. I mean, the source of the, the actual game itself. The, the plugin file. I guess the mod, if you will. Uh, it's actually relatively easy to modify. So let's say if I wanted to make the zombies give me more experience, I modify a text file, and that actually modifies the uh, the zombie or the zombie's attributes. It's it's pretty pretty simple and pretty basic. Um, I'm just kind of getting familiarized with that system now. My character is level 10, soon going to be level 11. Uh, this time I'm not as focused on magic. I'm definitely more focused, or as focused on range, and this time I went with Warrior, because I'd forgotten about it, but in this game, when you block, it doubles your absorb, like for your armor, and uh, your avoidance. So right now I have a 49% avoidance. If I, if I add any more to that, I'm pretty much untouchable, uh, as long as I have my shield up. And also I found a, let's see if I can do this, here's my bow found an exploit, or if you're holding your shield up. Uh, I think there's actually, yeah, I'll use zero. If you don't do it through the, the like, left or right mouse buttons, but instead use one of the keybinds, and if you switch your shield to your bow, you'll still hold your shield up. It's just then you can retaliate. Oh, um, I guess I should switch that to my bow really quick. Okay, so I have, I have my shield up. Switch to my bow, still shielding, with no shield actually there. But then I can turn around and immediately shoot my my enemy with an arrow. Uh, not really too useful, but kind of slightly exploitable. Let's see, I have uh, about thirty-one thousand dollars worth of diamonds, um, seven thousand five hundred worth of rubies. Trying to do the math for that. Let's see, three thousand five hundred worth of sapphires and seven thousand ish worth of uh, emeralds. My math for that's probably a little wrong. And it's about seven thousand. Yeah, I actually have artifacts now, which increase your um, your physical attributes like physical, uh, defensive, mental, and offensive by one. Pretty fucking useful because it allows you to boost your stats. Like, for instance, I have physical right now, so my HP and my HP regener are uh, boosted, as is my melee damage. Alright, let's check out some of the areas I, I've went to. These guys aren't going to even detect... Oh, I guess they are. That doesn't really matter to me much, though. At this point, my character's so OP that nothing's really going to phase me. Okay, so there's this area. Oh, it might help if uh, I move my shield back. There we go. My character is OP to the point now where I can actually take on the hardest enemies in the game. The, uh, the three brothers. Without... Like, really even breaking a sweat. 
I'm gonna explain some of the items I got uh, here. Since... Let's trade. All right, so there's the ring in of invisibility. This nondescript ring was forged in the land where shadows lie. It's an obvious uh, Lord of the Rings, Mordor, you know, the, the one ring to rule them all reference. While you wear that, no one can see you uh, until you attack them, and then they, they kind of can. Uh, so basically, if I have that, I can just walk everywhere and no one even notices me. It's really good for, like, running through, say, this area or going from place to place. Uh, I have two lineage signet rings, which allow me to get... Uh, 25 more or 25 percent more experience per ring per uh, enemy defeated I have one aura Boris ring but I actually got that as a drop it allows you to uh, not die if you die just one time I have the item or actually I have two I um, relic hunters rings which allows me to get more items 25 percent chance per ring per uh, item drop or no not per item drop 25 percent per ring per enemy killed uh, the Silent Toby, which I actually currently have equipped right now, does essentially the same thing as the Ring of Invisibility, except for not as game-breaking. It's only a 50% effect. Like, if you played um, Morrowind or Oblivion, this would be the rough equivalent of a 50% Chameleon. Um, I have all four of the artifacts, which I already I kind of already explained what they do. And then I have this Sage Frock, which gives me an extra 25% uh, mana regen. I don't really have that equipped right now, though. I also did get some plate armor as uh, drops. Oh, and uh, the cleave ability is pretty OP as well. It allows you to attack any or uh, in a wide arc. I'd say prob probably around. Uh, if I was to take to take a guess, 300 degree angle. Maybe a little more than that. I'd say about three, 320% or 320 degrees around your character will be... Or any enemy within that range will be hit. Noob. 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 Alright, so on to the next area. I gotta cough one second. Alright. So if you keep going past the uh, the keep... I'm actually going to want my ring of invisibility for this. Uh, just because it'll make it a little bit quicker. Also, I'm probably going to switch from my Silent Toby to my, uh, my running boots. Just makes things faster, you know? Um... Silent Toby. Where are they? There we go. Oh, I forgot to cover it. The guy also had these shoes that allow you to teleport. So you can uh, equip it as if it was an ability. Um, it's pretty useful as well. Okay, so now I need... My invisibility ring. There we go. I'm still trying to get the um, the plate curious. Still, just have my uh, my chain armor equipped. All right, so these guys aren't even gonna really care that I'm here. It's a lot of fighting to get through here, especially once you get into this area. Holy shit, that's a lot of Antillians. I guess someone might say that they're it's a uh, Antillian, but Antillian kind of sounds better in my opinion. I could be wrong though. I don't really care. Uh, I think it's right here. Yep. Cave of the Living Bones. There's actually a few unique drops in here. Um, I don't know specifically what drops it. Um, I think one of them is a sword. 
but I can't really remember what it does. I, I could look up the, uh, like in the game data and find it. The Cave of Living Bones, you find this pillar over here. Um, you have to go from there through here past all these skeletal knights and occultists pick up the like a powder keg I think I actually just grabbed it I grabbed it but it didn't give me anything since I've already completed the quest yeah I'm just gonna run through You place it here and it explodes and then you just it opens up this path allowing you to go through so if anyone gets stuck right there that's that's what you have to do okay so after all this running around you finally get here the brother's lair and of course that's this one this uh this teleport you get here all three of these uh, gates are locked and there's these three statues asking what your your name is in order to get that information, you have to do the puzzles located in here. Fire is either falling or waiting. One element, one temperament. And then you get through the door and you read the, the book stand, uh, which gives you his name. Although if you click that chest over there, it actually hurts you. You need a key in order to open it, which I actually have. I have all three of the keys. Then you go through here. Fight your way through all the skeletal baddies. I think I've already read it, so it's not going to let me. No, I guess it might. Today, Pompey got a little overexcited to meet me and blew himself up, so I had to go into the caves and catch myself a new Antillian Burster. Again, I think I'm going to name this one uh, Kurkosha. Vivuzio, the Destroyer. Yeah. Krosha. Uh, see, I think he named his bursters after uh, famous volcanoes. It's kind of nifty. I don't think I noticed that. And then his uh, chest is right there. Um, though if you click it, it will it will hurt you. Unless you have the key. Actually, I do have the key, so while I'm here. What should that give me? 381? Not too bad. My character is still OP. Finally, you go through all this nonsense. None of these books tell you anything. You have to run through here and fight this uh, Skeletal Prophet. I think... Yeah, it's this one. It's days like today that make me wonder if I should t go a step further and eliminate V and G too. They're getting on my nerves. Scathe lock. V and G being his two brothers. Uh, some of the books in here explain what happened between them. Basically, they're they're powerful necromancers to say the least. So once you get all three of their names, you go up. You talk to the statues. They open up all the gates, and you run in here and take care of these bastards. And they—they they are bastards. Don't, don't underestimate them. From here, I'm OP enough that I can—I can actually just take out all three of these guys though without much of a worry. Uh, and that's actually how I've gotten to such a high level. Speaking of which, I'm almost to the next one. With both of the rings, they give you about 9,000 per uh, per three you kill. 9,000 experience. Which means these three are the rough equivalent uh, with both rings of killing 3,000 zombies. Or it's 3,000 times faster, depending on how you want to look at that. Which is good, because at this point, I, it requires like millions of experience for me to level up. Oh. 
the maximum level is 16, based on the game source I was looking at. Or the mod source, rather. Not the engine, but the actual game itself. Um, I'm about to hit level 11, so I'm, I'm still a noob in comparison. But these guys drop some of the rarer loot, which I really like. I saw that 178 I just hit with a crit. Nope, I didn't mean to go that far. I actually have the stealth perk now, so I can get right up close to him, which is pretty nice. As far as I know, that's a 100% chance to, uh, to crit. But these guys are strong enough that 100% chance doesn't really mean I'm going to one-shot them. Um, actually, I don't, I'm not sure if I'd even one-shot them at max level with the strongest weapon, uh, which, by the way, I, I currently have this, uh, this great sword. Cost two thousand dollars and sells back for a quarter of the fucking cost. I'm kinda pissed about that. But yeah, uh you can you can easily take out all three of these guys. There's Gribson, there's Scathelock, and Vuvuzio. Lightning, ice, and uh, fire. I'm way almost to the next level. But at this point, I mean, I could continue to play and get levels. There's hardly really that much of a point, though, figuring how there's no, there's no stronger enemies in the game than these guys. At least not that I found. Um, and I've, I've even looked through the game, the game source. This is the, the strongest area. Um, and these guys aren't really a pushover either. Like they're they're not they're not weakling by any means. It's just I'm so strong at this point that they they seem weak to me. Uh, once I once I get this far in the game, there's not really a whole lot left for me to accomplish. There's no new items. Like since Flare game's still in development, I mean I'm hoping that they. Uh, Learn from like their the previous design success, the, where they had really awesome loot. Uh, if not, hopefully they they continue to add content. Uh, Zero point one nine's been out for a long time, and they haven't added anything else. I think uh, the not the next one, but the one after will get me the level. Yeah, here we go. Once I get this level, I'll probably do one more uh, run into here to see how I do. Here's the level, right here. Yep. I'm actually going to put this one on... Mental. As far as powers go, I mean, I have all the ranged ones I care about. I used to use uh, cow traps here and bear traps, like in the corridor when I was a ranger. Um, but since I've kind of morphed into a, a swordsman, since it allows me to use my shield, I'm not sure what I'd really like have a purpose for that for. Eh, I'll go ahead and get teleport. Teleport's actually mildly useful. Shock, freeze, burn, thunder strike, and quake. But yeah, um, let's see how I do. I'm actually going to go ahead and consume all of my points, all my mana. go and got 
Got to get my shield up. Yeah, my my mana regen still fucking sucks since I don't have or since I have my two uh XP rings on. I could I could fix that. I mean, it it just take a single X or a mana ring and I'd be able to just constantly use my ability, but uh, before I get off of here, I'm going to go ahead and show you what it's like now with the zombies. Uh, I haven't modded the, the zombies at all. I don't really have a need to. I'm gonna go ahead and just stand up here, let them all hoard around me. Although that does make my CPU usage spike. I do think it's hilarious how, uh, since I've enabled the combat text, I just see like a line of misses going above my head. Miss, 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 miss. On occasion you'll hear them hit, but very rarely. That's about uh, a 2% chance that they'll actually hit me. And then, since my absorb's so high, um, currently that's a 43 minimal to 53. I think the 53 is if I have my shield up. Um, no. I don't know what that means. Uh, 43 to 53, so they they only deal like one damage. They they're a long shot away from being able to even hit me. All right, so just to show what this is like. That's about how that goes. You can just sit there all all day. Uh, if you stand in the right spot, you you can just um, like for me with my keyboard, I just uh, I pressed down the nine key and wedged a penny between the key itself or the key and the the frame of the keyboard, and just fell asleep. And that that allowed me to get like a couple of levels, but it's still it, at this point it's too slow to really be viable. Uh, and at this point, like, getting Gibson, Scathe, uh, Scatheclaw, and Vuvuzela, uh, whatever the fuck his name was, uh, V, G, and S, getting those guys out is probably going to be too slow for a level uh, as well, and there's not really a whole lot of points since, since I can destroy them with ease, I can destroy everything else in the game. Uh, it's been about 23 minutes, so I'm probably going to babble on, uh, with my nonsensical psychobabble bullshit for another couple minutes. And then I'll probably just end the stream there. Uh, I'd highly recommend checking out this uh, this game if you if you like RPGs. Uh, at the moment, it's not really a full experience, but any attention to the, this game and its engine is probably a good thing uh, for its, its development. Also, you can find them on IRC.freeNode, uh, like the uh, FreeNode server of IRC. Um, on their channel, let's see, what was it? Hashtag, uh, Flare RPG, all lowercase. Un unfortunately, I mean, I've, I've tried to join their channel before and talk to them. The, their channel seems to be pretty dead, although that could be a difference in time zone, maybe. Maybe I'm just, uh, I'm on their channel and awake when they're, everyone's, like, asleep. Uh, there are people in there, but no one really talked. At least didn't talk to me. Maybe maybe having someone join their channel freaked them out. I don't really know. Um, I I did offer to help develop for them though. Let's see, I'm at 25 minutes. So this has been Rajai Ma'ail. You guys have a wonderful.